This video is a combination viewer mail unboxing and yard sale and flea market hauls. The first package was sent by Todd the Country Peddler. Todd has a great YouTube channel that does not have enough subscribers. If you like my videos and you watch Scout Crafter, then you need to go over and subscribe to the Country Peddler. Everybody loved my wife's Stanley knife, but it is lousy at cutting. I want to thank Todd for going out of his way to send me some treasures. It feels like Christmas morning opening up these boxes. In my Hold EZ nut driver video, I had mentioned the company's main product was screw holding screwdrivers. Thank you, Todd. I think I'm going to start a collection of different screw holding designs. The other item is an old ice pick. I think this will make for a good restoration video. Thanks again, Todd. Okay, I had to try out the screwdriver. This was the largest slotted screw I had. The mechanism releases the screw better than I thought. The next package was sent by Mark McKenzie. Mark is a longtime subscriber and a friend of Scout Crafter and Joe's shop. He's been working hard organizing his garage workshop. This is a Klein knife I got at a yard sale. Cleaned up really nice. Mark mentioned he was sending me a range bag. Right now I load up all my gear in an old school bag I picked up at a yard sale. This is definitely an upgrade. Thanks Mark. USCCA stands for United States Concealed Carry Association. Mark also sent me some dark green spray paint. I already have a project in mind for this. Check out these pliers. Now I haven't done any research on these yet, but I think they might be gas burner pliers. They look like another candidate for the cold blue finish. Thank you again, Mark. I took a Friday off from work and my wife and I went to several local yard sales. I'm always surprised how many people have their sales on both Friday and Saturday. I got this tackle box and everything inside for two dollars. There were several nice lures on the top section. These look like pre-strung bobbers and hooks. There was also quite a collection of flies. At the bottom of the box was a pocket knife. Looks like the ideal USA. I would have paid two bucks just for the knife. I got this tackle bag at the same sale. Four dollars for everything in the bag. Forceps are always handy. These Cordell red fins looked old. They both looked like they saw little use. There was a bunch of saltwater bait rigs. At the bottom of the bag were two pocket knives. This one was made in Japan. It was pretty beat up, but functional.
the other knife made my day. Yes, it is a case. This one is going to make a good cleanup video and a great eBay item. I thought the bag was empty, but after rooting around, I found these cool little wire cutters. Looks like Crowder, 4501, 4.5. At another sale, I scored this block plane for a quarter. I don't think Evaporust is going to bring this back. I may be able to use it for spare parts. These Utica pliers were 50 cents. Looks like the tip was ground down. They should clean up nicely. I got this push drill at an estate sale for a dollar. This tool uses the splined bits that are not compatible with the Yankee push drills. She feels like she needs some oil, but still functions. These wrestling figures were a quarter apiece. Once in a while, I get one of these that does really well on eBay. I'm from the George the Animal Steel and Jake the Snake Roberts era, so I don't know who most of these guys are. If you can name all five, let me know in the comments. I made my first trip to the annual Bowers Antique Engine, Tractor, and Toy Club show. The show is usually in early June and is held at the William DeLong Park in Mertztown, PA, which is pretty close to Kutztown. The show was great. The flea market was small, but I found a few items. I paid four bucks for this thing. I'm not sure why. I blame Scout Crafter. This little guy was 50 cents. I paid a buck for the scraper. I like the used broomstick with the arrow. Do, 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 do. I got this bucket of wrenches for $10, bucket included. Let's see what's in the bucket. So there was no less than 12 wrenches in the bucket. This pipe wrench has got the Ben Mall compound bend to it. If Scout Crafter ever announces an auto wrench challenge, I'm ready. The two highlights for me were this offset adjustable wrench. and this larger size auto wrench. The handle is marked Fairmount Cleave and the movable jaw is marked Billings and Spencer. This could be a Franken wrench made up of parts from two wrenches. I'll have to do more research. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.